Welcome to CAT Tutorials. And in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 3.8 from Fundamentals of Electric Circuits, uh, fourth edition. So this practice problem is under, let's see. It is under section 3.6, which talks about nodal and mesh by inspection. So basically, when you have, well, all the sources in in the circuit are independent sources. So in, in, you know our independent sources are shown or represented by circles and not diamonds, right? So this shows an independent source. It can be current source, it can be voltage source, whatever. So when you have independent sources only, then you can omit solving a problem using KCL at the node. You can just simply look at the nodes and come up with the equations quickly. So let's do a recap on how to do that. So using this, I is equal to GB, where G is conductance, conductance, right, conductance, and V is voltage and I is current. So then what we want to do is form matrices, right? So the K's and the J's correspond with the matrix position of each of the conductances. So for KK, um, which correspond to these positions across the matrix, these positions, right? So for KK, we have the sum of conductances, sum of conductances connected to node K, connected to node K. And for KJ, which is also equals to JK, we have the negative of conductances, negative of conductances connected, uh, which connect or connected between nodes K and J, between nodes K and J. So I'm just going to proceed to show you how to apply this. So just to recap, GKK, you put a coefficient where you have the sum of conductances at node K, and KJ or JK, you have the negative of conductances, which are between node K and node J. So let's erase this and then focus on solving this problem using just uh, what we learned now or what we know from the textbook. Now, starting with G11, which corresponds to the conductances connected to node 1, which is over here, right? So conductance, just a recap. So G is equal to one over R, right? So the sum of all the conductances connected to this node here, right? It's gonna be one over one plus one over five plus one over 10 using this formula. So one over one plus one over five plus one over 10. That is gonna be the formula for that. And the answer to this is 1.3. And we move on to G22, which is the sum of all the conductances connected to this second node. So I only have one resistor there. So only worried about that, which is going to give you 0 0.2, right? And we go to G33. So you go to the third node. Where is it? Up here. So you check it's going to be 1 over 1 plus 1 over 4. So one over one plus one over four, which will give 1.25. And finally, since we only have four nodes, looking for G44, we have, it's here. We have one over four plus this one over two, right? So at G44, that, that is what we basically have. So doing that quickly, 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25, plus 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25, plus 1 over 2, which is 0 0.25, plus 1 over 3, which is 0 0.25, plus 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25, plus 1 over 3, which is 0
plus 1 over 2, which is 0 0.5, will give us 0 0.75. Now we move on to the other sections. So if you look at these subscripts, they are basically uh, positions in a matrix. So ultimately, we're going to have a matrix which consists of each of these coefficients, and that's going to satisfy the equation i is equal to gv. Right? Since we are interested in finding the node voltage equations for this for this circuit. So this is the formula for that. I is equal to GV, and that is how our matrix is going to be basically at the end. So we now move on to the other parts of the matrix. Let's start with, let's see, let's see, let's start with G12. G12, which is basically equals to G21. So as I mentioned earlier, this refers to the, the sum of the conductances between node 1 and 2, which is going to be the same as the sum of the conductances between node 2 and 1. But now we'll put a negative sign because they are shared between the two nodes, and that is just a rule for inspection. So looking at node 1 and 2, in between we have 5, 5 ohms. So doing that, we're going to have negative 1 over 5, right? We have negative 1 over 5, which is negative 0 0.2. And in between, let's see, what, what, what do we have next? So in between 1 and 3. So in between 1 and 3, there and there. So G1, 3, which is the same as G3, 1. We're going to have the negative of 1 over 1, which is negative 1. Right, because we have one between uh, the first node and the third node, it would be three, and we now move on to find now move on to find G um, G two three, which is the same as G three two. So between node uh, two and between node two, there's node two. And node 3, we don't have any conductances, so that's going to be 0. Right. So we can start forming the, the matrix now, since we have quite a few values. So just to confirm that everything is correct, so the, the rows of the matrix should always uh, correspond to the number of nodes which you have in your, in your circuit. So since we said gv is equal to i that is basically going to be the the format of of this of this um matrix that is basically going to be the format of this matrix so let's continue we have g11 over here so at position at row one column one we're going to have 1.3 row one column one we're going to have 1.3 and at Row 1, column 2, we're going to have negative 0 0.2. Row 1, column 2, which is the next position. We're going to have that. And our variables are V1, V2, V3, and V4. So I think, okay, that should be fine. Let me just create some more space. Okay, so next we have row one uh column three we're gonna have negative one we're gonna have negative one over there and finally on that row we're gonna have row one um so between one and four four is over here there's there's nothing which you can attribute to that position so at this point we have zero All right because node one and node four are not directly connected so you put a zero there right so move on to the second row. So row two, row two, column one, we have negative 0 0.2, negative 0 0.2. Then coming to row two, column two, we have 0 0.2, that's 0 0.2. Moving on to row two, column three, we have zero. And finally on row two, we have row two. So this is that and four which are not directly connected so you also have zero here 
So that is G24. We have zero over there. So now moving on to the third row. So uh, row three, column one, we have negative one over there. Right. And row three, column two, we have zero. Row three, column three, we have 1.25. And finally, between node three and four, between node three and four, we have negative one over five, right? And that's what we have between between these two. So let's write it down here. Three four, which is equal to g four three, is equal to negative one over four. Negative one over four. So between the third node and the fourth node, we have four ohms. So converting that to this. Then I have that, which is negative 0 0.25, negative 0 0.25. That's what we have. And moving on to the fourth row. At row, where are we? Where are we? Okay. So at row four, column one, between four and one, we don't have anything. So it's going to be zero. Between node 2 and node 4, they're not directly connected, so we also have 0 there. And between um, row 4, column 3, we have negative 0 0.25, negative 0 0.25. And finally, at G44, we have 0 0.75. Right? And now for this, which is the column matrix of the current sources which we have, this is what we, we're going to have basically. So this is the sum of the independent sources which are connected to the nodes. So here's our convention in is it a positive? That's, that's, that's what we're going to use for inspection. So going to, um, going to node let's start with node one or i1 or whatever the case may be so if we look at that point starting starting to form our equation at that point if you look at node one there are no um visible current sources which are directly connected to that so you can just put a zero it's going to be correct value zero because there's nothing correct connected to that node and moving on to node 2, if you look at node 2, you have 1 and 2 coming in. So 1 plus 2, because we said we're going to take the in as positive. So 1 plus 2, we have the 1 coming in, we have the 2 coming in. So we have 3 in total, right? And moving to moving to our V3 or the third node, we have 1, this 1 ampere going out. So it's going to be negative 1. That is the only independent source. So we have negative 1. And finally, looking at uh, node 4, we have 3 coming in, so it's going to be positive. So you have 3. And that is how you form your, your equations using inspection. So in this case, we are dealing with uh, the node voltage equations using this formula that says GV is equal to I. So let me just close this because it's a matrix. right? So yeah, this is how you'd set up your equations.